This week's police crackdown on protesters in Egypt has left hundreds dead and more than 4,000 injured, most of them supporters of the ousted Islamist President Mohamed Morsi. President Obama interrupted his family vacation in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, to condemn the slaughter of Egyptian civilians and cancel plans for some upcoming military exercises with the Egyptian army, which Washington helps fund to the tune of more than a billion dollars in annual aid. Our traditional cooperation cannot continue as usual when civilians are being killed in the streets and rights are being rolled back. As a result, this morning we notified the Egyptian government that we are canceling our biannual joint military exercise, which was scheduled for next month. With more on the latest in Egypt, Youssef Gamal Eldin reports from Cairo. Sporadic clashes are still taking place across Egypt between supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi and security forces. The latest attack on a military checkpoint that's killed at least seven soldiers and also the Muslim Brotherhood making it clear that this is just the beginning. They will not cower and quote, will rise again. They are planning a million man march for Friday. Security forces on their side are not taking any chances. They've been authorized to use deadly force if necessary. A curfew is in effect. The traffic is dying down in the background and the state of emergency is still on as well. Keep in mind that we had comments from U.S. President Barack Obama. He strongly condemned what is happening in Egypt, but also said that it was for Egyptians to decide what would happen in the future. I'm Yusuf Gamal for Nightly Business Report in Cairo.